I think it's just wonderful that, um, that Spate is a graduate of Highland Park. It was a great high school, and it did, you know, in junior high and high school, they were good teachers, and, and I went into college very much prepared to do what I needed to do in college. He handled all the subjects that um, I knew that uh, was in the class with him with such um, knowledge and aplomb and ease. It, it just never occurred to me not to try to be, not to try to be the best I possibly could. His intellect was so incredible. Uh, you did not want to be in a class uh, where they graded on the curve when Spate was in the class because if there was only one A given, it wasn't going to be to you. And he honors not only the school, but the community that he came from uh, with what he has done with his life and the reputation that uh, he brings to the school and to the community and to the uh, world of opera and to the world at large. His knowledge of, uh, of opera is deep and, and incredibly uh, varied and, and to me spectacular. There's a magazine to this day, the, the leading, mag leading American magazine on opera is called Opera News. And I would go every month to the office and go to the editor and ask him if he had a job. And finally in March he said, oh, I'm sick of seeing you. Yes, because I have somebody leaving, you can have it. So I really learned my trade at Opera News. Some friends in California who I had always lectured to asked me if I would if I would go the next summer to Seattle to uh, take them through the ring there. The son of a very important member of the board heard me lecture the first on on Rheingold and said to his mother, "Well, I think I've found your general director." And she said, "Well, he's only a music critic. What are you talking about?" So I was appointed in December of 82 to be the general director. And it was a, at that time a much less well-known and well-respected um, organization than it is now. And everybody in, in, in Seattle who was interested in opera said that the search committee and the board were idiots. And I really wanted to bring I wanted to make Seattle an international opera company, which we did. And through the years, he's built it to be one of the foremost opera companies in the United States. And uh, he's done it, he's done some really remarkable things with it uh, during that period of time. We presented all the standard Wagner operas, and then I did uh, two completely new productions of The Ring. His hallmark of distinction is the fact that he has uh, been able to present Wagner's Ring Cycle in its entirety. Wagner composed it uh, with the expectation and with the anticipation that it would be presented in four evenings. In this particular moment in history, I'm one of the few people in the world, if not the only one, who has produced two completely new Ring Cycles. It is such a long opera and such a difficult piece of music that it's very seldom performed in its entirety. I give my credit, my family, total credit for, a lot of credit for my success because they've always supported me and I'm very grateful, and Linda particularly. Nobody knows my weaknesses better as, as wives are apt to, <laughs> as one could say about a wife. <laughs> After 50 years, they know pretty much where you're gonna go. Spate, we're so um, happy for you. We want to congratulate you on what you have meant to the community and what you mean to Highland Park uh, uh, High School and what you mean to the operatic world in, in general. I really appreciate this award. I thank you so very much. It's wonderful to come back to Highland Park. I value my experience in Highland Park and the way Highland Park started me on the, my course in life. and. My whole life here was, is important and so I, I really appreciate this honor and I, I'm very grateful for it.